Aquarius. This is your closer look reading for July 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for July 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for July 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for July 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have yourself, the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up and one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Aquarius, listen. You may have had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on with someone. You could have told tell me that there was some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you could also tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. And because you're pissed and because of the mind games and manipulation and the tip for that tug of war, toe to toe going on, you may have cut them off. Aquarius, I don't know why I'm tongue tied. Oh my goodness, that's why <laughs> the King of Swords. This is you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This is you again. Clarify the King of Swords. For Aquarius, clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Aquarius, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone said, Setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Aquarius, listen, <clears throat> you can tell me that there's a confrontation taking place and you're walking away detaching emotionally. However, when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Aquarius, you may want to return and maybe set the record straight or you're just walking away after some type of confrontation here. 
Aquarius, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings. So Aquarius, some type of opportunity or practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment here. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. You could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup clarify the page of cups for aquarius clarify the page of cups for aquarius clarify the page of cups for aquarius it is clarified with the king of cups Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Aquarius could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Cups. For Aquarius, clarify the King of Cups. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Aquarius, listen, you know, as the King of Cups, the King of Cups, either you have a great deal of emotions concerning this person or you're trying to master your emotions, okay? So listen, you very well could be moving out, moving on, moving away from the relationship, leaving, or you're wanting to put it behind you and return and put, you know, just move away to a place of peace and harmony with this person, letting bygones be bygones. Someone, either you are returning and wanting to work things out, apologizing, or they're coming in wanting to put things behind you. And move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Seems like you're pretty pissed though. Aquarius, listen, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Aquarius, listen, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, worried about this person here, okay? And maybe worried about maybe you guys had some type of stability between you. This could be your ex. Listen, Aquarius. You have the Queen of Wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag, this queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up. Making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now this can speak to there being a third party involved. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that, hey, you're willing to work on it or put in the work here. However, you could also tell me that there was a third party involved. It just seems like it's some drama taking place here. You know, it very well could be a third party involved. But someone is wanting to work things out here after some type of drama. Aquarius, this is your closer look reading for July 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.